Bonjour and welcome to the Tarot of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for mid-October for the sign of Taurus. Um, the energies are going to resonate until the end of the month and um, I'm going to draw two oracle cards and then I'm going to delve into the message with my tarot deck. Um, I hope you're all doing well. These are general readings so it will not apply to all of you. Um, just take what applies to your situation and discard what doesn't. Um, if you want a, um, a fuller picture of the next two weeks, you may want to check your Venus, Moon and Rising sign. So what energies do we have for the last two weeks of October for Taurus? Let's see what we've got. Okay. So, the first energy you get, sorry about the sirens, I live in town center. The first energy you get, ironically, <laughs> is the energy of silence. I'm sorry, it's so loud. This is irony in action, right? <laughs> so the card of silence, it says there is a sweet embrace in the nothingness stillness brings. A presence of self fully embodied. And the second energy you get is greet the darkness. Now it is the second time I have this um, card pop up for this mid-month reading. Really strange. And it says, here, where the spine bends and the mouth quivers, breathes the hidden, the pieces that make you whole, but cut deep with all of their sharp edges. So these are your two energies for the month. Let me put my deck away so I have a bit more space. Okay, so the card of silence. Sorry, I just <laughs> knocked my tripod. Silence has many benefits when you think about what kind of lifestyle we lead. Life is very busy, we are constantly exposed to the media, to a lot of noise, and I mean even noise of where, we, where you live. I mean I live in town, obviously if you're in the countryside probably not so much. But it's very rare to actually find um, the time to have a bit of silence, sit there, do nothing, and just think and pause for a second. So this card is asking you to be still, clear your mind, and this is how you will get answers. This will help you. And it ties in really nicely with the next card, which is called Greet the darkness. Now, greet the darkness, which is card number 19, talks about doing some shadow work, confronting your feelings. Um, we all, you know, at some point in our lives, lock away some things, some thoughts, some feelings, um, so that we can move on and we think it's going to be okay because we've locked it away and we don't think about it But it plays in the background in your subconscious and it stops you from growing emotionally and spiritually And until you do the work, which is sometimes very painful depending on what it is that you've locked away You're kind of at a standstill. You can't go past it and so what I'm getting from these energies is you, in the next two weeks you're being asked to take a bit of time in silence, contemplate and look within and have a look at whatever it is that you've locked away um, and confront it um, so that you can then be freed from it. But let's delve in more depth and see what we've got. So, you get Judgment, the Star, 
and the Magician, three major arcana, then the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so half of your reading has major arcana energy in it. Now, this means that we're dealing with very important energies in your life. The minor arcana represents day-to-day -day or everyday life, um, slightly more mundane things, um, not with as much impact, whereas the major arcana talks about those big things in life. Um, the first card that you got is judgment. Now, there are layers to all, all those cards, and the judgment can be a report card, like you looking on what you've done and assessing, which works with the card of the shadow work. It can also be a wake-up call, you know, rising up, shedding the old and, you know, making a decision. It's a wake-up call, like something that occurs in your head. The star is the card of hope. Um, and also of um, divine or universe, the universe guiding you. Um, it also can can show that um, you're being protected, you know, by past loved ones or angels if you believe in them or spirit guides. And then you have the magician. Now the magician is saying that you have everything you need in order to manifest what it is you're after. Um, the magician has all of the um, elements, all of the four elements, the suits, you can see the coins, the wands, the cup, and the sword. And he is a powerful manifester um, in the physical world. So uh, this is talking about you having a, a wake-up call and um, you following that guidance that you're going to be getting and manifesting something positive out of this. And if you look right here, you have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. This is talking to me about a relationship. And so maybe you, you want to manifest a new relationship or, which is the message I'm getting more strongly, is you want to rekindle a relationship because of the judgment, you know, you've, this is a karmic card and you, if you have been thinking or you will be thinking anyway in the next couple of weeks and looking at what the matter was, what you were keeping locked away. Um, and this is divinely, or the universe is guiding you, and you are going to come into your own power and either manifest or rekindle work on this relationship, that Two of Cups. Because you are going to be either the Queen of Cups and embody her qualities, which are uh, highly intuitive, um, in touch with her emotion, nurturing, loving, or this is the person you want to rekindle the love with, um, male or female, it's a general reading, it really doesn't matter. So all of this is going to require application. The Eight of Coins is a slow moving energy but it is steady and it's you taking care of all of the details in order for it to manifest. So this is hard work which is embodied in the Greet the Darkness card, which is your shadow work. So your reading is fairly straightforward to me. It is saying that you're going to, if you take the time to sit in silence with your thoughts, you're going to get a wake-up call that is written in the stars, literally, and that you can manifest either a brand new relationship, which is going to be amazing, but will take time, work at it, or you're going to rekindle an, a relationship that you previously had or a relationship that was struggling and um, you are going to be doing the work inside of you in order to um, rekindle this love. So this is a very um, positive reading um, for someone out there. I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. 
Uh, I also offer daily readings. Um, please come and check them out if you enjoyed my style. I am very grateful for the, your time and the fact that you chose to spend some time with me on my channel. And I hope to see you again soon. Until next time, au revoir.